Hi everyone, this is Alex from Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here are your Korea tech news updates from the final week of July 2022. First up, neighbor webtoon Lore Olympus wins the Eisner Award in the US. Neighbor Webtoon's original webtoon, Lore Olympus, won the Will Eisner Comic Industry Award for Best Web Comic. According to Neighbor Webtoon, this is the first time that a vertical scroll webcomic has won in the web comics category. Lore Olympus is a modern retelling of the relationship between the Greek goddess of spring and king of the underworld, Persephone and Hades. It was first released in 2018 through Neighbor Webtoon's English service, Webtoon, and officially began serialization in Korea in August of 2020. It has been viewed over 1.2 billion times globally. For our next story, don't take out your iPhone. KakaoPay is available on Apple Watch. Apple Watch users can install the latest version of KakaoPay app on their iPhones. Check the connection with the Apple Watch or iPhone Watch app and use offline payment services. After the devices are connected, you can run the KakaoPay app on Apple Watch and select the registered payment method. KakaoPay money, KakaoPay gift certificate, credit card, etc. to pay with a QR code or a barcode. For our third big news of the week, Hanwha Space Hub opens the Korean version of the NASA Space School with KAIST. Hanwha Space Hub which serves as a comprehensive situation room for Hanwha Group's space business, began operating the space education program for gifted students, Space Pebbles, at the Community House in Myeongdong, Seoul, on the 23rd of July. In the first education program, the Space Humanities Conference, it was held to help students develop knowledge on philosophy, and social impacts about why we study space. There are multiple programs taking place until the end of this year. Students who have completed all the courses will receive benefits such as a KAIST Presidential Certificate, KAIST Gifted Education Center course tickets, and one-on-one -on -one career consulting with experts. Next up, Gyeonggi-do successfully hosts an online meetup with Vietnam to introduce companies from Pangyo Techno Valley. An AI-based gamification service company, MingleCon, a wearable airbag manufacturing and distribution company, Safeware, and a natural language processing technology-based AI company, Mr. Mind, participated in this meeting with a multimedia company from Vietnam. Jin Hyung Jung, CEO of MingleCon, said MingleBot AI, developed by MingleCon, provides interactive games, experience activities, cartoons, and songs so that teenagers can develop problem solving skills using mobile applications, PC programs, and physical kits. Yu Jenny, head of the overseas sales team at Safeware, explained The advantage of our product is not only to protect the body due to an airbag explosion in the event of an accident, but also to automatically send text and emergency calls, including the location of the accident, to the registered contact in conjunction with the smartphone app via BLE to quickly transport the victims. Kim Dong-won, CEO of Mr. Mind, said, We developed and manufactured robot caregivers for the elderly's physical and emotional health care with the vision of giving happiness to the elderly through artificial intelligence technology. And now it's time for the quick news of the week. First up, we made Connect acquires Nexalon, a game developer. Nexalon, acquired by We Made Connect, was established in 2017 as a gaming company specialized in developing various sports content into a game optimized simulation genre and has been developing and releasing games such as Monster Fishing, Derby Life, and My City. With this acquisition, We Made Connect will find and take the lead in new markets through publishing, and Nexlon will pave the way for further enhancing its expertise in specialized genres. Next up, Nota selected as a service provider for the Smart City project of the Ministry of Land, Transport, and Maritime Affairs. 
and the installation of an AI crosswalk in Daejeon City. An AI safety crosswalk is a smart city solution to create a safer walking environment. It functions to protect pedestrian accidents from right turns, jaywalking, and lack of visibility. The core technology of the AI safety crosswalk is known as Edge AI technology, which adds AI analysis functions to traffic observation CCTV installed in Daejeon to observe vehicle and pedestrian movements in real time and predict dangerous situations one to three seconds in advance, thereby warning drivers and pedestrians of danger in advance through various crosswalk aids, which gives us the smart crosswalks. For our third quick news bite, Mr. Mind delivers a robot caregiver, Dream Boy, to Daejeon City. The robot caregiver, Dream Boy, which was created from the character of Dream Boy, the official mascot of the Daejeon Expo in 1993, observes the lifestyle of the people it's caring for, from emotional conversations by analyzing emotions, lifestyles, and questionnaires through learning data. In addition, Warning signs of daily life, such as depression or suicide, are detected and dangerous situations are delivered to the elderly person's guardian. The caregiver robot can recite old stories and songs, hold active conversations and use avatar talk, play mind games with cognitive cards, and utilize voice talk functions. It can also prevent or detect early diseases for the elderly and helps them keep safe through brain activity quizzes, sleep-inducing music, medication management, and alarms. And that's it for the Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I will see you in August.